Hey everybody, Mr. West here. This is a um, an explanation uh, video on um, how to do a parallel Y harness uh, for paralleling two batteries, and also I'll explain too how to do series, uh, and it should be should be pretty clear. Please post comments, uh, thoughts if you have questions about it, and then uh, we'll go from there. All right, so this is for you, Mountain Dew dude. Um, you've got the uh, the how and the why here. Let me show you how the what the harness looks like. So there's the harness right there. This is going to go to your speed controller, obviously. So that goes off that direction. So now we want to pick up the batteries and do them in parallel. And it's important too to keep your um, length of wire the same as possible. So cut them exactly the same and then put them together. The reason is because what you'll end up doing is this one side will have more resistance if it's longer uh, and or a different kind of wire. So use all the same uh, wire thickness uh, or gauge rather and uh, you can avoid some uh, not mismatching but misdrawing so you have more draw on this side uh, if it's shorter if this is longer and vice versa so make your leg the lengths of your uh, cables the same length same thing with the batteries and it's always best to use of course is is imperative that you use the same batteries with the same um, output uh, meaning discharge like a, a 30C or a, a 40C or whatever it is <clears throat> so it's preferred that you buy two batteries of the same and um, this way you're going to get good performance out of them and, and get the most use out of each battery simultaneously that's the idea um, there, there are other more complicated ways to do this this is a simple uh, wire harness method um, you can do it via a circuit board so that it actually draws so it's like a choke um, it would then limit the amount of voltage that's coming through and each one would be drawn below their their stated output value say uh, say it's 11 point volt or 11.3 volts each and so this circuit piece a, a bit a bit of circuitry will have um, a limit on it, say an input limit of 11.1 volts. That way both batteries are putting in exactly the same thing simultaneously. So that's that's very very complicated for what needs to be done. In this case it's great um, the way it's done. Okay so a note here is that you can also charge this way as well. Plug that into your charger <coughs> excuse me, and my recommend is uh, obviously these are balance plugs right so you while you're doing this in a parallel you cannot use your balance plugs unless you make a harness that takes your balance plugs and turns them into the six cell complicated right you don't need to do that you can quick charge these this way or your standard charge rate on 11.3 volt system or a 12 volt system and and go that route and that's no problem I would say only do this two times, maybe three times, and then you want to individually charge them using the balance. And that's my rule of thumb is that every third charge, I'm hitting them to the balance uh, port individually to make sure that all cells are coming up correctly and, and uh, it maintains the life. So don't, don't just quick charge forever. You've got to use the balance to make sure each cell is, uh, is staying up equal. Okay. Uh, so a little closer look at this piece. <clears throat> red to red, right? And black to black. Parallel. And what this does is it takes an 11.3 battery and an 11.3 battery, brings them together in a harness, and the voltage stays the same. This is 3600 milliamps or 3.6 amps. This is also 3.6 amps. When you parallel together, milliamp hour is doubled. So each one of these times two. Same voltage. 
let's say you have a smaller motor like a 22, a 22 point, a, a, a 2212 or a 2214, probably up to your 26s, give or take. They really like 11.3 uh, volts. You would not want to put this in a series and deliver 22 volts through a speed controller, obviously, to a small motor like that. It can't handle it. But the larger motors, uh, such as a, a 4200, not 4200, but a um, 4120, uh, which is what I use on my big heavier birds, the 10 pounders, uh, I should say 8 to eight to eight and up pounders, I use a 4120 motor. And then all of my mid size 5 pound birds, I'm using uh, the uh, 2826. <clears throat> Let me get that real quick. This is the one that I've mentioned uh, several times. Hobby people, their regular price is 40 bucks. I never buy it at that price. Uh, this recently went on sale and got it for 20 bucks. So it was a half off. And uh, it's a very durable motor. I've, I've used this last one. It's, it's actually starting to growl now. The bearings are just now starting to go. Uh, to growl um, on this other bird, or excuse me, this other motor that I've been using for a number of years. Um, this bad boy right here. Same motor, black label, nothing on it, no stickers, nothing. I call it the black label or the brown box special. <laughs> anyway, um, I don't remember the company that makes it. I think it's HKS or something like that. And it's it, the company's been around a long, long time. And then Hobby People uh, puts their puts their label on it. Um, anyway, so back to the back to the battery thought. By the way, that's a a new and improved bird there that I'm working on. I, I think I had mentioned that I was going to do it again and, and reduce its height and reduce its weight and uh, I'll, I'll get back to that thought in a second. Okay, so now let's go series. I'll take this off. We get, we get the battery connection idea. So now what you want to do, in series that means that you've got positive red and a black. Black to black, red to red, parallel. Series is connecting the dots, basically. Take your black and go to the red. So you would have a black wire, and I use black. I would have a black wire that jumps across over to the red terminal on this connector, and then a standard black goes back. All right? So a single red wire this would not be connected right here. Single red wire goes to red terminal to the battery and then the black just jumps right on across so it's just a horseshoe bit of cable jumps right across over to the other positive. Negative over to the positive so you're, co you're continuing a series of connections. Red to red, black to red, black to black. And this one comes back in a single line as per normal to the battery, actually to the uh, speed controller. So that makes sense? You would not see this red here, you would see a black over. You can use red if you want to, a red cable. It doesn't really matter what color it is. Um, but I prefer, I prefer the black. So go black to black or black to red right here in the middle and you're good to go. That is series. So what series will do is it will double the voltage but not the milliamp hour or amp, meaning amps. Alright, so let's say you want to use this setup on one of the larger motors and space available is also limited there perhaps. So a larger motor, you're going to deliver 22 volts to the speed controller and make sure that your speed controller can handle it. At least a 60, preferably a 70 amp speed controller would be ideal. 
Um, that way there's no limitation there. Um, so then your uh, milliamp or amp will stay the same at 3.6. Each one of these is 3600. I mentioned that. And so you would still get um, you would still get the 22, excuse me, times 2 voltage that would be 22.6 volts. All right? And that'll drive and that's kind of my explanation or I I I wrote to you um, Mountain Dew dude was that you're doubling the voltage which kind of is like a, a high torque diesel motor as opposed to a, a four cylinder commuter car which has very little torque okay alright so there you go uh, please, post your please post your questions comments and I do thank you West out